Hello, Mike Yu as a Case IH, and I want to talk now about the end of row button that's in the Pro 700 monitor, what, what its function is. Uh, we talked a little bit earlier, as if I hit the back button here, um, and lock chunk end of row, how the, the implement can follow the sequence. So if I select a new implement, I get a new sequence. And then I also get a new set of parameters as far as my implement width and how it's controlled for the area counter as well. So with that being said, I'm going to go in and check pan here. All right, let's see if we got any other implements in here. Okay, we do have an 870. So I'm going to go ahead and select the 870. Notice that the uh, sequence is quite a bit different between the 870 and the pan. So obviously when they were running the pan, all they were setting up is the auto guidance. So the auto guidance was uh, controlled just on the end of row button. And there's a complete video on how to record and play back end of row or actually just search EOR for short. So that's what the button is for the uh, for the end of row in the Pro 700 monitor. It really just gives us a way to to be able to go in and just take a look, make sure everything's okay with our end of row sequence. We can record multiple sequences, so we could go in and choose another sequence, even though it's the same implement. So maybe there's two different ways you've set it up, depending on conditions. You could have that set up as well. So you could choose different sequences with the same implement. So that's a little bit on the button for the end of row in the Pro 700 monitor.